Jimmy and Lisa with Finest Camping. Today, we are going to give you a true test on one year of the anniversary of our ceramic coating put, in on, our, put on our camper. We're not going to do any tricks. We're not going to show you guys anything um, that we wouldn't normally do. When we first come back on, all I'm going to do is put water on it first, just so you can see the beat up. But before we get started, I do have one confession. So what's your confession? Hmm. So in a year's time, we drive this a lot. We probably have driven it again another 10,000, 15,000 miles. And I think we've washed it twice. Yeah, which is way, way less than we're supposed to. You're supposed to wash it at just about after every trip to get everything cleaned up and get it protected again. But when you're on the road, sometimes that doesn't happen. So this is going to be a true test. We're going to see what it does. There's no filming editing on this. It's just basically putting the water on it and we're going to see what it does. Let's get started. Let's see what it looks like when we're done. So as you can see, it's still beating up, which is a good thing. It's not probably the best beat up as it can possibly be right now, but it will we're, be when we're done. Yeah, we're going to wash it with the Sencha Power Clean, um, which helps clean it up and get some more ceramic put on there. So stick around, let's see how this thing does, and we'll see what it looks like at the end. to do the first side we won't bore you with watching the second side because it's more of the same thing but we did want to take a minute to share with you the nose because as many of you probably know that's the hardest part because nose takes, takes a the, beating coming down the road yeah from the bugs and rocks and dirts and whatever so and the salt from indiana every right because we did go into the snow so everything hits the nose so since we got the um ceramic, ceramic coating, coating the hardest thing for us now to do with the nose is it's still really hard to reach. Even after she brought it all the way down, yeah, it's she's still She's to the ground and this is it. But at least you can see how easy it is to get the dirt and the bugs and the grime off the front. So here, here we, we go. go. As you can see, it's still beating up pretty good with all those miles.
as you guys can tell, we're not professional detailers by any means. We're professional campers. Uh, there will be some spots we have to go back and touch up because there's some spots we missed and very tip top up there. He couldn't reach and so probably have to climb up top to do that. But it's taken us 20, 20, 30 minutes max to do the front and one side. So it'll take another 20, 30 to do the other side in the back. And you know, maybe 15 minutes for the little touch ups we have to go back and finish. But all in all, I don't think it's snake oil. We keep hearing people say snake oil, snake oil, snake oil. That's over a year. Still beads up. Still comes clean very, very easy. In an hour and a half. So if we were going to wash it and wax it, an hour and a half just to wash. I'm and not waxing another 45 Then it would camper. spend another hour and a half at least waxing it. So our next camper, if we get another one, we'll definitely we'll be have ceramic, ceramic coating. So yeah. I was the skeptic. He was sold. But um, yeah, we'll never have another one without it. It's so much easier to maintain. So thanks, Bob Moses. So until the next time you guys find us camping. Safe travels, everyone.